Hello, people. I was gonna say good morning, but it's actually, <laughs> the only reason I'm saying good morning is because it feels like morning because I slept in like a crazy college kid and my hair is a dirty rat's nest. Wait, rats don't make a nest. Bird's nest, whatever you wanna say. I guess the reason I'm, <sighs> I'm just telling you, it's supposed to be pretty simple. You just put your hair up in a ponytail and you don't even plan it and you just, keep it all up, and then you have a day like today where it doesn't stay in, and then you have like two or three pieces of hair that are flopping on your face. Here's the thing, guys. I like my long hair, but when I'm at home and I'm working, and I guess I'm just in a testy, bitchy mood, because Aunt Flo has been here this week, and I'm getting more bitchy every month when that happens. I love it. And by love it, I mean I want to slice my face off, um, because I hate it. But the reason that I'm saying rat instead of bird's nest is because I have this thing in front of me. Why do I have this thing in front of me, which is my bird scoop? Because I wanted to show you what I'm dealing with. I think I might have told you that when I moved out here, um, you know, it's a very woodsy area, kind of like where I lived before I got married. <laughs> Sorry, whenever I say, whenever I say that, <clears throat> I get phlegm in my throat. Um, but the place I used to live was very woodsy and I would have little mice, not rats, but little mice, in my garage and it was really unfortunate because I would let my cat go out and play there and I didn't realize that what he was playing with were actual mice till he brought a live one in to my house. I'm like, oh, come on in, Versace. Yes, I had two cats and they were named Gucci and Versace. And Versace came in um, and he had this thing sticking out of his mouth and I'm like, what is that? Oh, oh! So it was really quite unfortunate and unpleasant. Um, so I dealt with it back then. I don't remember what I did but I do re recall getting these Black & Decker things that I now have plugged in in my house. And I didn't remember that I did that until someone brought it up recently. So I moved out here and then everyone's like, oh, you're gonna have to watch out because you've got all this forest and stuff out here. You're gonna have um, mice in your, in your garage. I'm like, come again, what? I'm sorry, what? Apparently people can just look at an area and tell that you're gonna have mice. Well, guess what? I heard not only from my neighbor, when I met him at the um, mailbox, I have to keep an eye, I have to call him, 20 minutes. Um, so I, I met my neighbor and he's like, oh yeah, you know, I've lived here nine years and I have all kind of mice. And I'm like, oh, okay, can I move? No, <laughs> I'm here for quite a while. <sighs> I, just, I love this cup. I don't know why I'm such a nerd and I'm so fondly attached to cups. Oh, I love this song. Um, and yes, this is my coffee. I was out of it this morning and I had to run and get Starbucks. Um, so this is my espresso roast with coconut oil and cinnamon. Apparently I've created a mad trend without even realizing it. Back to the rodent thing. So as I've discussed before, I am a nerd that likes to watch birds. They calm me down. And as you, if you've watched my vlog for longer than four seconds, any time, you know that I have attention deficit disorder of the worst kind, shiny object syndrome, and I'm always high strung and, and crazed, especially now. So watching birds, I actually will sit out in the morning when I'm having my coffee and saying my prayers for the day, and I'm looking at the birds going, you're so cute. And how does that whole body rest on those skinny little legs? And how do you function when you don't have any arms? These are things that I think about. Anyway, so I got this scoop so that I could scoop out my bird seed and fill in my bird feeders. And I'd like you to see what's going on in there. Do you see that? That is supposed to be solid so that when you open it like this, scoop out your bird seed. See on the bottom, there's a hole. Scoop out your bird seed and then you go and, and it opens up and then it slides out nicely into your bird feeder. I don't know if you can see that. Do you see that? I go out there after I come back from my last trip and I open up the container, the plastic container that I just got. And in this thing is a little mouse, not even dead, but alive and staring up at me like, oh, you wanna roll with this? Okay, so I'm freaking out, I screamed, I opened the garage door, I was hoping that my neighbor might be home because there's a man over there and he might be able to go, oh, let me do that, I'm not gonna lie. That's when I turned into a typical girl and I'm like, I need a guy to come over here and deal with this. That was one of the few good things about having a husband. Oh, look at the dogs out there. Um, so I look in, not only is, I didn't even realize this had been chewed through first, 
but there's a live mouse in my big garbage container, my plastic container that I got to protect from the large mouse, mice, whatever. And he's in there staring at me. And then I didn't even realize these things can freaking jump. So there's probably this much space between, I'll explain this in a minute. This is a, a new top and there are zippers here. And I'm not quite sure yet how I feel about this. What is that? Oh, okay, so this is supposed to be that way. I didn't rip it, but I just wanted you to be aware of what was going on there. So you're not like, Kelly, can't you buy new clothes? The sleeves come off, people. Um, dog is out front. So I'm looking at this thing, and there's about this much space between where the bird seed was and the top of the container. So I, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get this out of there. I'm like, and I'm thinking, I'll use the scoop to scoop it up. Well, the little rodent thing is like, <coughs> they can bounce like a grasshopper or something. So I'm like, how am I gonna get this thing without touching it and yet without letting it jump on me? Like I just kept thinking, it's gonna jump on me, it's gonna go down my shirt and then I'm gonna have a mouse and a, ugh. So I don't know what I did, but I got it out of there. But all I can say is, seriously, if you're a mouse, what makes you get in this thing and say, I'm gonna not only eat bird food, I'm going to freaking eat the plastic. They ate the plastic. As you can tell, I'm a little testy. I'm a little testy, I'm a little bitchy, I'm a little stabby. It's been a really long week. So not only was our friend, when did that happen? I think it was Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday, that douchebag showed up. Wow, that made my... It's shadows, it's shadows. Okay, sorry. I was like, my God. Um, this is what I inherited from my mother. Small shoulders, big boobs. That's why I'm working. Maybe that's why I'm so obsessed with building up my delts in addition to, which you can't see, my biceps because I want to balance out. I have no, you know, I've kind of accepted that I have, you know, boobies, if you will, but it's kind of nice to have shoulders to balance them out. So I'm always working on that. But anyway, really quickly, I did bring this out here because even though I am in a bitchy stabby mode, mood, and I'll do a separate, I'm sorry. Distracted. I have my window open and the dog is out there. He's such a cute dog. Um, this is um, some of the wonderful, very high quality clothes. I'm getting really spoiled with um, really nice, um, high quality fitness clothes that obviously you can wear to the gym. Sometimes some of the stuff is so nice, I only want to wear it for like before my workout or after my workout. Because we got into this discussion at Fit Blogging. I feel like Certainly me, when I'm home working, you know, this is a day that I'm home working, it's very typical. I'm not gonna get dressed out of my sleep clothes and my robe and put on like a whole outfit. I'm not gonna put on like jeans and a sweater or, you know, what, what I used to wear, stuff I used to wear years ago, like khakis and a sweater or something. It's either gonna be sweats or now I'm really starting to like, you know, the nice workout clothes because, couple of things. If I don't do my workout in the morning, which of course I like to do, it helps me stay on track in a number of ways if I put my workout clothes on. So if I put my workout clothes on, even if these aren't the ones I'm gonna wear for that particular workout, so this is like one of the new Reebok tops, which I love the color. This is a top from, um, I hope I'm saying, Mundetta. Mundetta, I hope I'm saying that right, but sometimes the label is, it looks like this, because I'm gonna show you the clothes here in a second. You see that? Uh, so I'll get to that in a second, but this is the kind of stuff that I find myself more comfortable in. I'm going to have to talk to them about this. I don't know how I feel about this hole right there. Um, but I'll get to that because it's obviously a feature of this top. So um, I don't know about you guys. I'm just curious. Do you find yourself, we were, we were saying at Fitblogin that we're wearing less of like, I, I mean, I can assume maybe, I don't know. Do you guys find yourself wearing more? I find myself wearing more workout clothes. And when you have really a nice, cute workout outfit, I wouldn't mind wearing this to like a movie or something. Of course, I don't remember the last time I've been to a movie. Um, that's a whole other story. <sighs> I had a bunch of friends tell me for the past year, oh, I've met my husband on Match.com. Are you on eHarmony? And I'm like, but the thing is, the only time I ever meet men, they are 22 or they are married. Or, or if they're in my age range, they're married and they seem to think that's not a problem. 
kind of a problem for me, um, or they're older than my father. That's who asks me out on a date. So there seems to be something where I kind of got to the point with some people. It was after South by Southwest this year, and so many people were telling me to get on Match.com. And so I did this thing. I'm like, fine, I'll get on Match.com, and I will show you. <laughs> I think I started talking to like a couple of guys, never ended up having a date, met a, what I would consider to be a very jerky person. I won't mention any names. <laughs> I might refer to them later. Um, but then like this morning, I had some guy that had apparently sent me his profile earlier. And you know, I get a lot of these. And again, they're my father's age or they're 22. I've been very specific. I'm 43 years old, people. I don't want to, I'm too old to date somebody that's 22. Okay. I'm not a cougar. I don't understand. I said that in my profile. I think I put like, I, I would date someone like 38 to I don't even know what I said, 50 maybe, 40, 52, I have no idea. But I certainly didn't put 22 or high school senior. But um, for some reason, I don't know, maybe it's a dare, maybe somebody has a dare out there. So this guy sent me his profile and he had three photos of himself in his profile. One of them was of his dog. The other one was of just his face. And the next one was he actually felt it necessary to, when he's getting his match profile up there, I'm gonna go into my restroom and I'm wearing dress pants. I'm gonna take my shirt off and take a picture of myself like this. Who, what, what is that thought process that men feel? And it's not that seeing a guy with his shirt off is that offensive, you know, it's not like he's naked or anything, but like what's the thought process that I'm just meeting you and I'd like you to see me with my shirt off? A am I missing something? Like, I wouldn't put up on my profile. I just put up a bunch of pictures that show me and my friends, and you know, I had several different hairstyles, so I put those up there because I'm like, I've had dark hair, I've had light hair, whatever. But I didn't put pictures up of me like, hey, here's me and my bra. Here's, you know, I, I, I just, why, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just perplexed by this. So not only did he send me that, and he sent me three messages, then he sends me a message this morning and says, are you gonna at least reply back? and say hi or tell me you're not interested? I don't know about you, but I kind of feel that it's rude. I wouldn't want to hurt someone's feelings and write them back and go, thanks, not interested. So I kind of figure if I don't respond to you, that's a subtle, not mean way of saying, I'm not interested. What are you doing where you're emailing me going, oh, are you not interested? <sighs> As you can see, we have the keyholes that I love on this top. I might have to do a separate vlog about the uh, Mundetta gear, but all I'm gonna do, let me give you a quick preview and then I'll do a separate vlog because hell, I'm already at 13 minutes. Beautiful colors. Do you see how beautiful this is? Now, I think on my video, it's kind of turning out more blue. I'm just looking at the reflection. This is more like a dark purple, but it's really, really vibrant and nice. And then on the back, you can see it's got the, is that the back? Yeah, that's the back, the stripes. So let me hold that up for you. Oh wait, this is crisscross in the back, I'm guessing. Okay, yeah. So it's gonna crisscross, that's the front. Longer, which I love, that's the back. Look at this. So I'm wearing one of the tops, which as you can see, um, it has a zipper. So I'm assuming, I haven't done this yet, that I can zip, wait a minute. I think I can zip these off. I gotta see what this is. Or maybe this is, I actually have to look, but there's obviously a zipper here. I'm just doing this, I really have no idea what this is. Oh, it becomes like a vest. Okay, see that? It becomes a vest. I don't know that I would wear that as a vest. So here's the nice long collar. Anyway, I'm getting a text that I have to answer. Nice collar, if I zip it up, it's up here. I was realizing it's getting cold out. I need stuff for outside. So this is a nice fitted top. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to be able to do videos. Everybody, I've gotten a lot of you going, how come you don't do, sorry, that was mean. I didn't mean that you were, I'm just obsessed with how messy my hair is today. Um, I didn't mean that you guys were being mean. A lot of you guys ask, how come I don't do workout videos or um, videos where you can see, you know, all of me, sorry. Um, People, I'm home by myself in my in my office. This is a tripod. The only way for me to give you a you know full body shot of like what my pants look like or whatever, um, I can't do that without 
<laughs> the only thing you would see would be the camera, me holding the camera up by my leg. So we'll have to figure out a way to do that in the future. It's kind of cool when you hold it like this. Um, so there's that. I love this. I wanted tops. So, I mean, can you guys see this? Top has the keyhole. Beautiful, really soft fabric. This is very, very high quality stuff. Um, I'm gonna, this is, again, this, they have these side zips. There's a zipper in the back. Really nice stuff. I tried this top on this morning. Look, at, I just, I really love the colors and I really need tops. Um, but again, I used to buy cheap workout stuff. Here's what I really love. Look at this, the leggings for, now I will tell you this, I don't know if you can see it, but on the side here, see that? <laughs> the side of this matches these leggings, which are this really funky snakeskin fabric, which I love. And then these are just some tights I got for running outside. It's stuck in my dishwasher. Inappropriate! You can't really see these as much, but these are tights and then down the side, see that? These are the long tights, really high quality fabric. Here's the thing, you know, some people, um, and I firmly believe this, when you're talking about workout shoes, tennis shoes, whatever, or uh, your workout clothes, I think there's kind of two ends of the spectrum. You're either gonna pay like 10 or $15 for something, you're gonna get what you pay for. And I'm not being a snot because not everybody has unlimited wealth to spend, but I did notice a difference when I, fi when I finally, I started to say finally and first, and I started, God, I'm at 16 minutes. When I first started, um, oh, I'm gonna have to stop this, you guys. Um, when I first started um, buying nice workout pants, the, the brand that I have bought in the past was Atomics, and they were like 60 or $70 a piece, and that was kind of a lot. I would buy five at a time, and they've lasted me, most of those, more than two years. I wash them, I, I don't put them in the dryer, um, I let them air dry. Take care of your stuff, it will last forever. So think about that. It's kind of the same idea of, you know, do I wanna keep buying $20 pair of earrings and replacing them because they're not real gold and they, you know, this is what I did when I was 20. And then you go, wait a second, why don't I just buy one pair of real gold earrings that's, you know, two or $300 and it'll last forever. Duh. Same thing with workout clothes. Some people go, wow, you know, this top is a lot more expensive. This kind of stuff, if you wash it right and you keep it, this is going to last a long time. It's not going to get pilling on it. It's not going to, you know, wear out at the elbows. This is quality, quality fabric. So you get what you pay for. My, um, you know, again, Otomix did not send me my, my pants for free. They were just the first more expensive brand that I bought. And I've had a lot of these Otam Otomix pants. Honest to God, I even have some. I, I always hand wash them um, that I've had longer than six or seven years. Okay, I gotta go. I have done a 17 freaking minute vlog today and I still haven't touched on everything that I wanted to complain about. So, and I'm complaining with a happy face because I'm happier now because I have a massage tonight. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a good Friday. Oh, I've got my call in five seconds. I gotta go.